Hello, we're back again. This is my little brother, and this is James. This is what I have made again. It's a it's a electric weed eater. I did a few adjustments to it. I put a propeller on it, put a, a stock on it, and it has high and low for different pieces, for different speeds. That type of brand. I took a I took a extension cord. It was a it was an old one. I cut it off. And I hooked it to a battery. Now this is what my brother's gonna do. He's gonna use he's gonna use the camera and he's gonna he's gonna do it when I run it. So I can run it. Keep it right there, Charles. What? Oh, you're right here. You're over here. Okay. Keep me in the picture. First thing you do, put it in low like normal. It's already hooked up. If you hook this the wrong way, over here. Can you see me? Yeah. If, if, um, I'm trying to get the power too. Get over here. If it don't have the right plug, it it won't work. Okay, let's see the. Here we go, Charles. That's low, and the and this is high. But here's the thing: the battery's low, so it's not gonna do as good as it supposed to. Pop it right back on low. And that's the video. It's going on YouTube and different things like that. So if you like it, just email me. I'll tell you how to do it. And don't bother me none. It's it's really good. And Charles will say something about it. No. Okay. That's that's my video of how to do how to make an electric weed eater into a trolling motor. But you can run it in, in heavy water, um, open over uh, open sides, anything like that. So gasoline, if they tell you you can't have tr you can't have um gasoline, or you got gasoline motors in a river, you can you can keep up with them most of the time. If it's a if it's a two to a four, anything higher you won't keep up with them.